follow us on foodmadeinitaly.eu Bentornati a Food. Welcome back on Food. We are delighted to have archaeologist Arisa Malnati back with us again. Today we'll talk about Egyptian. Egyptian have left behind astonishing monuments. But what did they eat to build those stunning pyramids? Thank you, Vittoria. Hello, everybody. Actually, Egyptians used wage labor to build pyramids, not slaves as believed. And wage workers were paid not with money because it didn't exist yet. Money didn't exist, yet, sure. They were paid with food, fabrics and clothes, but especially with food. We are still in the swap area? We are still in a swap era. Workers were rewarded with food, mainly bread and beer, which were a basic part of the Egyptian diet, especially during the first dynasties. In the Old Kingdom, in the third millennium before Christ, the pyramid period. That means some kind of food that Sumeria people had, bread and beer. But it was a, a sort of food widespread in any Mediterranean civilization, in the Near East, before Indo-Europeans, before Greeks and before Romans. But to build such a pyramid you need to be pretty strong, don't you? So surely they wouldn't eat only bread and beer. Of course not. We know for papyri that ancient Egyptians had a diet as balanced as possible, according to the knowledge of the time, which was already advanced. Beside beer and bread, they ate cereals and wheat, but they also had proteins from wild game. And where did they get the protein? Well, I suppose there was fish in the Nile River. From meat and fish from Mediterranean Sea, but above all fish from the Nile are scarps and eels and of course mullets. Even grey mullet? Exactly. They ate a sort of botarga. That's crazy. Talking about those ancient civilizations, it sounds like there are a lot of similarities between what they used to eat and what we are eating at the present day, with obvious differences due to development. Of course, and we'll see that it's right among those civilizations and mainly in the ancient Egypt. A bit later on, that the concept of a Mediterranean diet develops, and indeed, most of what Egyptians ate is still on our tables. But the idea of a Mediterranean diet already exists. I think we always uh, talk about Egyptian referring to their architecture, don't we? Those fantastic pyramids. But from what you just said, it looks like Egyptians were a very advanced civilization, also from a dietary point of view. Absolutely. They were also very careful to how to present their dishes. In Dagging Balatta, an archaeological site dating back to 200,000 before Christ, a bit after the big pyramids, I discovered interesting finds such as clay beer jars and bread stamps. They were made of clay treated in a let's say ecological way. They were made of clay treated in a let's say ecological way. You can see they were really careful to the genuine goodness of their food. So, the way of cooking. I seem to remember that on the papyrus you find, some inscriptions would also read that exceedingly with food is not very healthy. Indeed. Some health and conscious advices. They were very accurate. The indications carried an idea that sounded very much like mother health consciousness. That was also reinforced by the religious belief, according to which if you exceeded with food, you broke a balance deserving to be punished by God. Health consciousness was more than lifestyle, it was nearly imposed by law. Let's say that it was a very advanced culture both from an architecture and a well-being point of view. Absolutely, we'll see that better in the next episode. Thank you, see you next time on Food. Food. Thank you. Follow us on foodmadeinitaly.eu